Um, I guess let's move on to the movie real quick. Um, any thoughts on Infinite Darkness? It's uh, voice cracked right there. I, I had a fucking YouTube comment. <laughs> fucking call me out on that shit. Is like, uh, that is that the top of his for the second time? Is that some, what's happening? something like that? It, it was like literally at the top of the segment, like as the video starts, my voice cracks. I'm like, fuck. You tell that commenter I am the only one allowed to criticize your speech patterns, okay? okay. I, I, I mean, I, I didn't hide the comment. I just literally probably just like, it happens, man. I'm sad. What, what, what do you want me to say? <laughs> what do you want from me? No, but um, uh. Infinite Darkness. In, in, sorry, I messed up my words there. Infinite Darkness uh, looks really uh, fun, honestly. Um, yeah. It it. I like that it's following Leon and Claire. I love that they got the actor, the voice actors from Resident Evil Two, to do it. Um, you know, it's 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 sort of a few years after Resident Evil Four, which is a storyline that I think everyone loves. So it's going to be interesting. Also, it's going to be interesting to see Ashley again if they do in fact show her. They have to show her. Yeah, like if- for um for for those that don't know the um the president in that movie like it. The movie takes place like at the White House. It's a zombie outbreak there. Uh, the president is the same pr- president that's uh, Ashley's dad. His and that's name gonna- is President. Yes. Sorry. <laughs> not not the same president that Leon shoots in the head because he turns into a zombie, and that's not good. Uh, and that's from Resident <laughs> Evil Six. That's that's a different yes, president. Is. I've mm-hmm. played that demo. I know what he's talking. About. <laughs> yeah. Um, I I want there to be a conversation at some point where. For the president puts his hand on, on Leon's shoulder and he says, Leon, why didn't you fuck my daughter at the end of Resident Evil 4? She was, oh she God. wanted you to. No. We could be family, Leon. Barely an adult and that would have been gross. Yeah. I mean, she's probably an adult. But yeah. I, Japanese I, companies are weird, man. I, I believe she was... 20 in there i i can look it up but yeah i guess no no no. i'm not even i'm not saying like oh out there if you have like done this you're fucking gross i just mean i just feel it's one of those like they they try to make her diminutive and kitty even though she's very clearly not she's like an adult so it's like "Eh." yeah i i think she underestimated leon's ability to be the uh, chad virgin well, no, because he has something with Hunnigan. That's what I like about that whole thing. Oh, yeah, there's he, definitely he a thing with him and Hunnigan. He could go for the cute girl on his lap, but instead it's like, no, I want to go for, like, the trophy wife that's over you know, the radio. Yeah, but she never yeah, does right. anything. You, you um, wanna, he, he never also, does anything. Hey, he she takes her glasses off at the end. No, I'm sorry. Enough. I'm sorry. Leon, Leon may be a little flirty boy here and there, but... He, he never acts on it. He, he has, he's the he has all these ladies pining for him. He's got, Literally. well, Claire's not really pining for him. Claire's just sort of there. I feel like he could go for Claire, but she might be like, you know, mm, I got too no, much no. things going do, on. Do, I'm, do a, you, you know, I'm, I'm focusing on myself right now, Leon. Sorry. Like that's the friends you know, that get each other wait. hookups with other people. <laughs> yes. Do, yes. Do, do you, at the end of Resident Evil 2 remake, when you, whenever you do the second run or whatever, you get the true ending. Uh, Sherry's like, are you two like boyfriend and girlfriend? And Claire's like, oh, I don't know. And Leon's like, no, I'm the eternal virgin. <laughs> he, he literally <laughs> stared into the camera and said that. You can look it up on YouTube. Um, yeah, um, quick just, quick fact, I guess busy. Ashley was 20 and, and 4. Not that that really changes it, I guess. Yeah. I mean, uh, but yeah, I mean, I, I maybe maybe Leon is ace and that's totally valid. Like maybe yeah, he's maybe. Over. You know, he maybe he just has too much going on. He can't think about that stuff. You know, he's thinking of too many good jokes and puns. Exactly. <laughs> um, I I've, I've never really seen any of the animated um, Resident Evil movies. I guess I probably should at some points. I, I don't like if I remember correctly, the first two weren't necessarily great. But then again, I I have all the live action Resident Evil movies, and those are not great, and I still enjoy them. So. Yeah. I should probably you just know, bite that you, bullet. You do Your know at some, vary. you do know at some point that uh, where Leon is, uh, Ada will soon follow. So we're mm-hmm. definitely going to see Ada in Infinite Darkness. I feel. I, what's the Resident Evil animated movie where Leon's like? It, no, it's Chris is like in a gunfight with a dude, and it's literally like the most Matrix ass shit in the world. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're just like spinning running around, around each other. They're running around each other, shooting at the ground. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> That's damnation. I, think. Yeah. Ugh, I need to watch. That. I have, I have the the the, the er, I have the earlier one on my wall somewhere on Blu-ray because I bought it when I was like seventeen. 
Um, and that, I think that's called Degeneration or something. Um, it's and it's the one where there's an airport and a zombie outbreak happens. Yeah. And Leon and Claire are there. Like, it's basically, it's basically like the same basic premise of the newest one coming out, but way, le- but way more contrived. Well, this one is like no actually thought out. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Man, well, that I, one was a movie. This is like a. This is gonna be a full blown episodic series. Yeah, it looks neat. I, mm-hmm. I I have no like expectations of it. The animation looks good. Um, I'm interested to see where that goes. If there's cool fight scenes. I'll be down. Mm-hmm. Um, let's talk about Resident Evil Four VR. And I, I just I just want to preface this. I have, I I have like legitimately like ten or eleven versions of Resident Evil Four already. This is my favorite game of all time. I don't necessarily play all these versions frequently. I think like the last one I touched was the Switch version. I own Resident Evil Four on the GameCube, the PS2, the Wii, the PS3, the 360, Xbox One, PS4, the original PC ports, uh, the PC HD ports. And the Switch. So, yeah, I guess 10, 10 copies I own already. <laughs> but, have but a I... physical PC port? No. <laughs> okay. That, I, do not, I, I, had... don't have, I don't have the mobile version. <laughs> I had the game. I, all I had was the GameCube version uh, and the PlayStation 4 version, I think. Yeah. <sighs> but, uh, yeah, as it. it, part of the live stream, and, and this is funny to me, actually, um, on the live stream, they announced that there's a VR version of Resident Evil 4 coming to the Oculus Quest 2. Uh, Blaine, you did not, you were very confused when people were bringing this up because you're like, I was watching the entire, or me speaking to you. Watching you were watching Switch. the entire, yeah, and this was not part of Sony's version of the stream because they didn't want to advertise weird. Oculus. Yeah, they want, because yeah, they have their own PSVR. Um, it looks really cool. I wish I could play it. <laughs> but I'm not going to be able to because I am not going to go out and buy an Oculus. I I think I have the space now to do it in my in my new living situation. So and and it's not just it doesn't look like just like a basic ass port where it's just like a 2D screen in front of you and you're playing like that. Like yeah, no, you're like you're in first person perspective. You see the guns and everything. It's it looks cool. I am mm-hmm. yeah. this might because there's a couple things that are on VR now that are kind of giving me the push to could kind of jump into it mm-hmm. um it, it's like half-life alex beat saber um shit what's another one super hot vr and and this like th- those are the four i'm thinking of just like I, that's what i want vr for so if I any eagle-eyed viewers can see because i can't see because my screen is small i have both chainsaw controllers back there in their boxes oh you have the I'm ps2 one also nerd. Yes, I have the PS2. I bought the PS2 one at a GameStop. Um, I don't know how many years ago. I bought the ga- the the GameCube. The yeah, actually, the GameCube one on eBay a long time ago. I got it like new still. Um, I've only used both of them basically once to play the game. I be- I think I beat the game with the chainsaw controller on the GameCube. I used the PlayStation 2 one for like a few hours and then realized, oh god, the, the blood flakes are coming off of my hands. I better not use this. Question. Is the PS2 chainsaw controller is god awful as a GameCube one? Because that GameCube controller is like the most freaking ergonomic, like buttons all in weird ass places. It is not a good controller I'll to be real, actually play I on. I had very little problems with either one, so I'm not the best person to ask that. I know it is an issue. It's just I didn't have that issue, so like I wouldn't be able to tell. I it's, will it's even, say. It's even it's cool weird, like, that you the can way lift the con- I'm, you, I'm sorry, you, you go- say what you're going to say. Okay, uh, yeah. So just like even the way you're supposed to hold it, it's like there's a grip right here and there's a grip right here for like the two handles. Yeah. Up instead, it's the like analog. This. Yeah. Up on the analog stick, you're supposed to like press up, which is already like the top right or whatever. And then the C stick doesn't even go the same direction. It's going the opposite. So it's just yeah, like, it's, a like weird it's like they expect you to hold it like this instead of like this, which is how you would assume it would be because it's a chainsaw mm-hmm. um, with the one for PS2. It is like this is the handle and this is instead of a, a bar. The bar is like this, it's like a little squishy handle. Um, but again, the drawback is that if you play for a long time and you have sweaty hands like me, you may rub off some of the paint. And I think each one of those had like a unique splatter of paint blood on it. So uh, yeah. it's really cool. You can lift it though. And it fucking puts his, his gun into ready position. It's fucking cool. 
Uh, let's go ahead and jump into some of the other news, because we... Damn, we spent like an hour talking about Resident Evil, which, hey, fav yeah. my favorite franchise of all goddamn talk. time, so I and am then, always happy then, to talk Resident Evil. Real quick, and then next weekend it, at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time is the... Or Saturday, I should say, is the castle level for PlayStation 4 and 5 uh, players. Nice. So, yeah. I might be too deep into fucking near to you think about that but you have till 1 a.m on sunday to play it <laughs> look <laughs> i have history with this game okay. okay well if anything may 1st you can you can play both levels and you have 60 minutes of gameplay yeah so well you can choose one or the other or you can play both it's a pretty yes. good option yeah exactly if nice. you do if you manage your time enough you can play both you can fucking blast through the Village demo in like three minutes. Oh yeah, it's crazy. Mm -hmm. 